guys! Welcome to Cup of Teach and today we are going to talk about the subsets of a line. Pero bago natin pag-usapan si subsets of a line, dito muna tayo kay theorems and postulates. So in geometry, marami tayong geometric ideas na kailangan bigyan ng definition and kailangan din natin mag-establish ng facts ng geometry by giving logical proofs. So, yung mga statement na kailangan nating i-prove ay tinatawag natin na theorems. And yun namang mga statement na hindi na kailangan ng proof ay tinatawag nating postulate. So, ano ba yung difference between postulates and theorems? Okay? When we say postulate, these are statements that are accepted to be true even without proof. Ang theorems naman are statements that must be proven before it can be accepted. And yung first postulate na pag-uusapan natin ay tinatawag natin na line postulate. Line postulate states that for every two points, there is exactly one line that contains both points. Or sa madaling sabi, two points determine a line and that only one line can be drawn through two points. So, if for example, if you have points A and B, ibig sabihin, there can only be one line sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? So, that is the line postulate. And we call this line as line AB. So, you write the, the points AB and then you draw the line symbol above. Now, let us discuss subsets of a line. And the first subset that we are going to talk about is segment. A segment is a part of a line consisting of two endpoints and all points between them. So, ito yung itsura ng isang segment. So, meron tayong parang line, okay? But, in this case, we have two endpoints, which is yung point A at point B. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating line na ito ay hindi nag extend So, that is what you call a segment. And how do we name a segment? So, you name the segment using the two point, uh, using the two endpoints. So, you have to write the two endpoints. So, we have here A and B. And then, just write a, a segment symbol above. Okay? So, may segment symbol tayo above to indicate that you are naming a segment. Okay? Note that there is a big difference between segment AB and the distance AB. So, itong segment AB is a geometric figure na set of points. Okay? Ito yon yung figure. Okay? Samantalang yung tinatawag na distance AB is the measurement of the segment. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating segment AB, that is the figure. Pag sinabi nating distance AB, that is the measurement. Now, question. Is segment AB and segment BA the same? Okay? So, the answer is yes. Because AB are both endpoints. So, it does not matter which endpoint comes first. So, po, pwede siyang magkabaliktad. You can call this AB, segment AB, or segment BA. Now, let us discuss some definitions. The number AB is the length of segment AB. The distance is the numerical value that describes how far two points is. Okay? Next definition, okay, see the figure. Point B is between A and C if and only if A, B, and C are three different points of the same line. And AB plus BC is equal to AC. Okay, so we have here A, B, and C on the uh, same line. You have here A, B, and C on the same line. And we have A, B plus B, 
BC is equal to yung kabuuan, which is D, AC. So, we can say that A, or we can say that B is between A and C. When B is between A and C, we write this symbol. So, this is read as B is between A and C, or this symbol, B is between C and A. So, the second subset of a line that we're going to discuss is what we call array. So, ano ba si array? Array is a part of a line consisting one endpoint and all the points of the line on one side of the endpoint. So, ganito yung itsura ng isang ray, and this is how you name it. Now, you name it using, syempre, two points. So, we have here points A and B, so you use those points. We have A and B. And then, on the uh, above, sa ibabaw niya, you have to write the symbol of a ray. So, kung ano ba yung itsura ng ray. So, you have uh, a line with only one arrow head pointing to the right. Okay. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng figure natin na ito? So, this figure is meant to indicate that the ray starts as A. Okay. So, mag start out tayo kay A. And then, proceeds papunta kay B in a straight line and then goes on forever in that direction. That is why meron tayong arrowhead dito is to indicate that it is extending. It is going on forever. Okay? So, sa ray, meron tayong isang endpoint, and then doon sa kabilang side, nag extend Okay? Now, in the notation of array, we always draw the arrow from left to right, regardless of the direction in which the ray points. So, if we have here ray AB, so, papunta siya from left, papunt mula kay A, papunta siya doon kay B, papunta sa right. Okay? So, yung ating um, name for this ray is AB, and the symbol doon sa ating ibabaw, doon sa tuktok ng AB, is mula sa left, papunta sa right. Now, regardless daw, whatever direction of your ray, yung symbol mo, ganun pa rin, from left to right. So, etong ray AB, pwede nang, pwede ang kanyang ray ay maging ganito ang itsura. Okay? So, pwede, ito yung A, andun yung B. Okay? So, nakita nyo, pataas. Pero yung symbol pa rin natin, from left to right. Pwede din ganyan. That is also ray AB. This is also ray AB, and this is also ray a, B. So, regardless of kung anong itsura ng ray mo, yung symbol natin, etong symbol na to, lagi siyang, ang kanyang nasa ibabaw, nakaturo lagi from left to right. Okay? Yung symbol, laging left to right. Regardless of itsura ng figure natin na ray. Now, now, question is, Ray AB and Ray BA the same? Okay. The answer is no. Because they have different endpoint. The label of the endpoint should be the first letter of the name of the ray. Okay. So, we have here Ray AB. So, yung endpoint natin is yung A. Papunta siya kay B. Kaya yung name ng ating ray, nag start kay A papunta kay B. Kaya yung symbol natin, paturo kay B. Now, how about BA? The figure for BA is like this. So, ang ating endpoint is B, papunta siya kay A. Kaya ang ating symbol, ah, ang ating, kaya ang ating name, mag-start kay B, papunta kay A. Yung symbol natin, nagsimula kay B, papunta kay A. Okay po. So, that is the difference between ray AB and ray BA. Now, let us discuss some definitions. Okay? If A is between B and C in line L, then the two rays, ray AB 
and ray AC point in opposite directions. So if we have this figure, so we have line L, okay, this is line L, and A is between B and C, okay? Nasa gitna siya ng B at C. Then we have two rays here. So we have ray AB and ray AC. Ray AB is here, okay? And ray AC is here. And they are pointing in opposite direction. So magkabilaan sila. Hindi sila magkasalubong. Sila ay magkasaliwa, magkahiwalay ng landas, okay? So opposite, they are opposite. And opposite rays ang tawag natin dyan. Okay? Opposite rays are two collinear rays with the same endpoint. Okay? The opposite rays always form a line. So, this is an example of an opposite ray. Meron silang same endpoint, which is A. So, yung isa papunta doon sa kaliwa, yung isa papunta doon sa kanan. And kapag meron kang opposite ray, they always form a line. Okay? Lagi yung isang line. So, if we have two points, A and B, it determines at least six geometric figures and one number. So, ano-ano yung mga geometric figures and number na yun? So, the first one, syempre, we can determine a line. If we have points A and B, so we can have line A. B. So, take a look at the symbol, ha? Yung line AB, sa tuktok ni AB, meron tayong line symbol. Next, we have the segment AB. Okay? So, sa segment AB, there are two endpoints and hindi nag extend yung ating line. So, the symbol for segment AB is you have to write AB with a segment symbol above. Okay? Sa so segment symbol, Isa lang siyang guhit. Wala siyang arrowheads. Okay? Next, we have what we call the ray AB. So, sa ray AB naman, there is only one endpoint and then the other one extends. So, yung endpoint natin, since nag-start tayo sa A, ang endpoint natin ay yung A. So, we have to write first A before yung B. And yung symbol sa taas ng ating ray, meron lamang tayong isang arrowhead which is located doon sa right side. Next, ano pa yung mga mabubuo natin from points A and B? So, syempre, yung ray opposite to AB. So, meron tayong ray AB which is ito. Meron din ray doon sa kabila. Okay? Yan yung isa nating geometric figure. Yung kabila. Next, we have the ray BA. So, the end point is here, which is B. It, it extends papunta doon kay A. So, dahil end point natin ay B, mag-start muna natin isulat si B, then bago yung A. And the arrowhead ay dapat nakalocate sa kanan. Okay? So, we have ray BA. And then, the next one, syempre, yung ray opposite kay BA. So, ito yung ating BA. So, mabubuo din natin yung ray doon sa kabila naman nung side naman. Doon naman sa kabilang side ng B. Okay? Ito. And then, lastly, the number determined by A and B is, of course, the distance AB. So, syempre, in distance between A and B, we can also determine that. So, last topic that we're going to discuss today is what we call the midpoint. So, point B is called a midpoint of segment AC if and only if B is between A and C and AB is equal to BC. So, a midpoint of a segment is the point that divides the line segment into two congruent parts that is located at the center of the segment. And it is located at the center of the segment. So, this is how a midpoint looks like. So, we have here segment AC. And in between points AC, we have point B. 
So, points A, C here is called the end point, and point B here is called the midpoint. So, si midpoint, hinahati niya yung ating segment into two congruent parts. Okay? Ayan. If B is the midpoint of segment AC, then AB plus BC is equal to AC. And AB is equal to BC. So, yung sukat ni AB and yung sukat ni BC ay pareho lang. It also tells us that AB is one half AC or BC is one half AC. So, yung isang part ng ating segment here na hinati ng midpoint ay kalahati ng buong segment. Okay? So, ayun yung sinasabi ng second statement. And note that meron tayong dalawang vertical lines dito. Okay? So, nasa yung dalawang vertical lines? Ito. Okay? Itong dalawang vertical lines na to, it indicate that the distances from the midpoint to both endpoints are equal. So, ibig sabihin, yung sukat nito ay equal doon sa sukat nito, nung kabila. So, yun yung sinasabi ng vertical line na yan. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!